So some vintage movie news to get to? Is that a thing? And some Halloween kills and yes, Halloween ends. Tidbits to address. Let's do this. Everybody has a gone happy hump day to all you ladies and gents out there taking a couple minutes out of your day to sit down and talk some Halloween kills, Halloween ends, and just movie news with us today. Let's mix it up a bit. It's hump day. Why the hell not? This is Fandom Empire. I'm your host, Sean, with an H, not an E. And thank you again for taking some time to spend with us today. First up, guys, right off the bat, we want to remind you that our official live stream AMA show that's going to be Fridays, each and every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes that might fluctuate, but we're going to try to stick to it. This Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern, Fandom Empire Live, the very first episode. And we're going to have a special guest on for that episode, Jimmy Champagne. Him and I are going to sit down, talk Halloween kills, Halloween ends, the movie industry, how things work. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then we're going to turn it over to you guys for your uh, for your super chats and your uh, and your live questions. So be on the lookout for that. Also, uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel on another level and you want to get in on that exclusive Lampkin Lane AMA show each and every month, we're about to close that tier off. We've we've uh, done a really good job on hitting members for that tier, and we're about to close it off. So if you uh, want to get in on that show. You need to sign up for our Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Phantom Empire, and you want to choose the Lampkin Lane tier. Also, if you can't afford to do that, there's another way you can be a part of this growing community here at Phantom Empire. Go to Facebook, search up the Phantom Empire Den group, and join for free and just get involved in the conversation and control the conversation yourself for uh, what's going on here. Uh, Multiple choice question for today, guys and gals. And I want you to think about this one. Should, if you could go back in time, should Michael Myers, a.k.a. The Shape, The Boogeyman, should he have died for good at the end of Halloween H2O? Are you someone that liked the fact they threw a curveball in there, which gave us resurrection, or should that have been it? Should that have been the conclusive ending, at least for... That timeline, the conclusive ending of Michael Myers. Comment down in the comment section below, yes or no. We want to know what you think because your opinion matters to us here at Fandom Empire. Uh, So much to get into here, guys, today, and I'm going to try to be quick with it, which I'm sure will please some people that don't like when we ramble on, or more specifically when I ramble on. Um, But before we do, I just want to remind you guys that we have a Halloween Kills mask unboxing we're going to be doing um i I can't tell you it's not gonna be this friday hopefully it's next friday but it's going to depend on shipping uh but in the next couple of weeks we're going to do an unboxing video that and it's not the identical mask to halloween kills but it's absolutely inspired by the mask in halloween kills and uh and and it, it it definitely resembles it in a pretty close manner and we just wanted to add sort of some of our own customization to it, maybe go a little bit more to the extreme than what they do in that movie with the mask. But if you want to get an idea of what that mask is going to look like, you're going to want to tune into that unboxing here on this channel in just a couple weeks. Uh, also, guys, gals, if you're watching this and you want to stay up to date on all of our content, somewhere down here, there's a subscribe watermark. Smash that thing, click subscribe to the channel. I get it. Sometimes we ramble. We're going to do a better job putting, sometimes I ramble. I can't blame the other staff here. They're hardly ever on air. But um, subscribe to the channel. Support the content if you appreciate what we're doing. Takes two seconds. Smash that subscribe button. Do it right now. Uh, All right, guys, let's dive into this. So first up, The Empire Strikes Back and The Dark Knight, which I would call two of the best movies ever created, arguably... Now that I think of it, in terms of what uh, what my opinion on what the two best movies ever created are, they they are one and two. The Empire Strikes Back and The Dark Knight 
are probably one and two for me on what I think is the best movies of all time. And they're being re-released across North America in July. I get it. It's not a new movie, but I'll tell you what, if there was ever, you know, a movie to go see in theaters and chance this stuff over, those two would be a wonderful thing to go see again. Uh, Check your local listings to see where they're playing. Also, Jurassic Park, number one at the box office last week, guys. That in itself is impressive. Even though it was only $500,000, keep in mind it was in 200 theaters, not 4,000 theaters, and not as many showtimes for that movie as what you will see with uh, Tenet and Mulan and even Halloween Kills when it comes out. Um, If it sticks to this year, we'll be playing across almost 4,000 theaters with much more showtimes. But it gives you an idea that 500,000 for a weekend on only 200 theaters and not many showtimes and really intense restrictions... um, That's decent, guys. It's decent. It's a positive sign. All right, there's some stuff going on there out there about Jason Blum and how he made further comments. We ran an article on fandomempire.net, our website. Head on over to fandomempire.net. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date on all of our content that we put out over there. Um, So I see people, and it drives me nuts. The the worst, you know, a little bit of a rant coming, so forewarning. Nothing pisses me off more than when someone says that we here at Fandom Empire, or myself personally, runs clickbait. Clickbait, pardon me. Look at that, already getting frustrated. We don't run clickbait here. We'll run rumors, and it'll be labeled as rumor or a report, but we sure as hell aren't running clickbait here and never will. So when I see, you know, fans of Halloween that are desperate to see this movie, post clickbait everywhere, it's, you know, it happens. But when I start to see semi-reputable sites, a place like comicbook.com, um, running a, a, an article that says, Jason Blum said the trailer is coming soon. That's what he just said in the most recent interview with E.T. No, he didn't. He didn't say that. He didn't say that anywhere. In that article, he said, we're trying to get that trailer out, which is no different than what he said before. Just he had to answer a question rather than just saying, you know what, I'm going to pass. And yeah, he is trying to get that trailer out because as we've told you before, he wants the trailer out now. He wants the movie out this year. Universal, unsure. And at the end of the day, they get final call. So it's almost like you have this turf war going on between Blum and Universal. And, like, the amount of people that just don't understand. And I'm not fucking saying that we or even uh, myself understands everything. We don't. You know? But if you understand just a little bit how this industry works, you know that uh, a production company is not necessarily the same as 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 a studio. And... Universal is handling the distribution of this movie, not Blumhouse. So yeah, they got like a turf war going on between themselves. At the end of the day, it's a business and they want to make the most money, regardless of what Jason Blum wants or not. But believe me, he did not say that, you know, immediately I seen people, oh, well, trailer must be coming this week, Friday, watch out for Friday or next week. Let's watch out for next week. It's not coming guys. It's not, if it does great. Hey, I don't, I'd love to be wrong about that. It is what it is. Okay, he had to say something because he was asked a question and he said something. But there's people misrepresenting what he said. If you want facts and you want, you know, the straight up story of how things are, feel free to keep tuning into this channel because we're not going to sugarcoat shit for you guys. I've seen a couple other channels. This is not a shot at them mentioning, and there's a couple of them that have done it, that... uh San Diego Comic-Con could be a place where the trailer drops, the the virtual event, the four or five-day virtual event. Uh, and, and I've seen both of these other channels uh, throw out there that, you know, they're basically suggesting this because they don't necessarily think it's going to happen, but they don't see anyone else suggesting it, and they believe that they're the first ones to suggest it. Well, I assure you, we suggested that long before either of them, just to set the record straight. Uh, yeah, I think there's a real shot, as I told you guys weeks ago, 
at the San Diego Comic Con event being somewhere where this thing drops. Whether the movie's ready to come out this year or not, you know, sometimes trailers come out a year early. You know, The Force Awakens was almost 14 months early. Get it, two different levels of film here, guys. But they could drop a trailer and not have the release date at the end of the trailer. You know, TBD, or just coming. But don't sleep on the San Diego Comic Con virtual event, guys. Uh, not at all. I want to talk a little bit about the um, the tone of Halloween Kills here for a second and and how it differs from some of the other Halloween movies. So I, I've seen a couple of comments and uh, how they want this to just be like a carbon copy of 1978 and they just want, you know, the blue lighting and the suspense and Michael's only in the, uh, in the shadows. And... My, my my response to that is, why? Why do you want the same thing we already got? All films subjective. You're entitled to whatever you want. That's the way it works. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you for this movie, if you're not open to the idea of, well, you're going to get callbacks to all that stuff, that this is going to be more intense, more brutal, not Rob Zombie-ish, but that it's going to be very different, then you're going to be disappointed. Because the tone of this movie is very different. Different. It's more intense. It's not classic Michael for the most part. Although you do get classic Michael in this film. Um, it's They're trying to satisfy people that love the 1978 film, but also love the 2018 film. Uh, and then still trying to pull new fans in. You know, it's they have three different target zones, and they're trying to hit all three of them. Which sometimes can be a bad thing. But uh, tell, I'm telling you from what I know about this movie, I love it. Uh, also, someone... A couple of people commented down in the uh, chat the other day saying that we spoiled what happens with Cameron in the movie and how dare us. Um, and, you know, I don't think they meant it with any hate. Um, but uh, I guess they somehow put together that Cameron goes to try to save Allison from the fire and accidentally lets Michael Myers escape the shape. I can assure you that does not happen. I'll tell you that much. That 150% doesn't happen. Cameron has nothing to do with how the shape escapes the fire. So if you think that that's what we spoiled, then we just didn't. And uh, last but not least, guys, Halloween ends. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind here is uh, the earliest the film would probably start filming would be the fall. But if they do that and they're releasing Halloween Kills at the same time, that doesn't work. You need to promote Halloween Kills. And there's a lot of moving pieces that are involved in promoting a film. You know, you're going to have Jamie Lee Curtis, Andy Matichuk, um, you know, Anthony Michael Hall, David Gordon Green, Danny McBride. A bunch of these guys are going to be all tied up promoting Halloween Kills in the fall, if and when it comes out then. And I still do, by the way. I've been asked multiple times what I think. I think there's a 70% chance, if not more, that this film is still coming out this year. Those guys are going to be busy promoting this film. So, how you film in the fall, I don't know. It's probably going to have to be a winter thing or a spring 2021 thing. So, that could mean... That could mean that Halloween ends backs up to 2022. I'll tell you now, I think there's more of a chance of Halloween ends backing up to 2022 than I think there is of Halloween Kills backing up to 2021. Now, obviously, if Halloween Kills backs up to 2021, Halloween ends is going to back up to 2022, uh, barring some weird release strategy. But I'm telling you, it's more likely that Halloween Kills sticks, in my opinion, and from what I've heard, and that Halloween ends moves from 2021. And I know some people are going to be like, well, well, Sean, they, they, they went and filmed Halloween 2018 in 2018 and released it in 2018. You're absolutely right. They did, but here's how the industry works, you know, pandemic or not. If certain performers are contracted to another movie that's set to film in that time. And remember, there'd be a lot of different moving pieces here. They can't get out of that. You know, they can't, well, a pandemic happened and it delayed my filming on Halloween, so we're going to have to back up, you know, filming Halloween ends. Uh, sorry, we're going to have to back up on filming, you know, 
movie Project X so I can uh, film Halloween Ends. doesn't work that way. They'll have to go film Project X and then figure out Halloween Ends due to contractual obligations. Like, just the way it works, guys. So, uh, again, I think there's a really good chance Halloween Ends is getting backed up to 2022. However, it might just so happen everyone's available early in uh, 2021. It still comes out in 2021. Again, no, my money says Halloween Ends getting backed up to 2022 and Halloween Kills is sticking. Uh, Time will tell whether we're right or wrong on that front. All right, guys, just want to remind you, again, if you appreciate what we're doing here on the channel, click that subscribe button. We would appreciate it. Drop a like. Hit that like button right now. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button. It helps. It also feels good. And if you really don't like what we're doing, hit the dislike button. It's cool, too. Uh, check us out on our socials, guys. Instagram, Phantom Empire Now, and the Camp Haddonfield Podcast. Go follow us over there. Uh, we post each and every day on that stuff. And then on Twitter, at Fandom Empire Now. Uh, that's a big one. Also, check out our Patreon if you want to get in on the Lampkin Lane AMA show each and every month. Um, that's the Lampkin Lane tier you'd have to sign up for, guys. Big thanks to our Patreon members, uh, Joey, Toronto Freddy, Joseph, Nick, Frank, Timothy, James, Matt, Brianna, Kenny, Gary, Left Hand, Lewis, Jim, Aaron, Reno, Brian, Chad, Greg, Matt, Marcus, and Mitchell. Thank you to each and every one of you guys for your support uh, of this channel. It's definitely appreciated. Uh, again, remember, this Friday, Phantom Empire Live, the first official show each and every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing a show that includes at least some AMA for all you guys. Uh, sometimes there'll be a, a guest interview. Sometimes it'll just be me. Sometimes it'll be another staff member at Phantom Empire. But uh, get your super chats in when that goes live to be able to ask Jimmy and I whatever you want. And uh, then we'll get down to the normal chat when we can. Um, also, guys, Halloween Kills Mask unboxing. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Again, not a carbon copy of the Kills Mask but really close, just a little more, you know, extremely done. And I think you guys are going to appreciate that and like that. Uh, the uh, young individual that worked on this for us uh, is really talented, and you'll get to know him a little bit more soon. All right, this is Phantom Empire. You can follow us there on our socials that are on the screen. And uh, that guy back there who's uh, soon going to get booted to a reserve role somewhere up on that shelf. Um, actually, we're going to be changing the whole studio here, by the way. So that's going to be happening over time. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us. Keep an eye out. Halloween 6 editorial dropping sometime tomorrow. We'll see you next time the Boogeyman's coming. Ciao.